by Cell here. So a couple of days ago at IFA, Huawei showcased their flagship processor, the Kirin 990, that will power the upcoming Huawei Mate 30 Pro. There's one feature of this chipset that really caught my attention and it's the real-time video multi-instance segmentation. Basically, what this does is, by using artificial intelligence, it can replace people or object or the background from a real-time video. That's right, as you can see in this official video, not only you can replace people or object, you can reorganize them, increase or decrease the size, you can add background blur, change the background and much much more. And you can do all of that in real time. That's really impressive. If you are a content creator or film a lot of videos, you're gonna love this feature. But the question remains, is it gonna work as precisely as Huawei showcasing in this video? Well, I guess time will tell because we've seen in the past, most companies over promise and under deliver. And that's really disappointing. But I hope it isn't the case with the Mate 30 Pro. It's a really cool feature, so I'm hoping it works as advertised. Another interesting feature of the Mate 30 Pro is going to be the Face AR. By using the combination of image signal processor and artificial intelligence, the Face AR can measure your heart rate and breath rate, track face expression, track your respiration rate and other health data, and all you need to do is look at the front camera. Wabi's explanation for this is that every time her heart beats, the blood flow to the face increases which causes more light to be absorbed. The camera notes every tiny change of every pixel and sends to the image signal processor and NPU to calculate the heart rate, respiration rate and other health data which is really impressive. But again, the question remains, how well do these features actually work and are they reliable? I guess we'll find out soon enough. We've learned recently that the Mate 30 series has been banned from using Google Apps and Huawei has responded that they'll use open source Android without Google services. And today, in a new low blow to Huawei, we are learning that the Mate X, which is a foldable smartphone from Huawei, will not have Google Apps either. We were getting reports earlier that the Mate X will be excluded from the ban because the launch of the Mate X happened before Huawei was put into the blacklist. But it looks like that's not really the case. Mate X is now also banned from using Google services. I guess it has to do with the rework Huawei has done on the Mate X, practically making it a new handset, which means the Mate X will come with open source Android just like the Mate 30 Pro. Analysts are now predicting that Huawei's overall sales will drop by a massive 30%. I'm sure their sales wouldn't get affected in China, but in the rest of the world, they will, and to a large degree. I mean, you gotta be out of your mind to pay 2200 euros or 1000 euros for phones that don't even have Google services. Anyway, if you want to keep updated with all the Mate 30 Pro coverage, then please consider subscribing. And as always, I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace out.